Good morning. Welcome to the Battles Within. We're continuing the study of in John chapter 7. We're going to be reading 11 verses. That is a lot, but it's the kind of the story. Verse 20 through 31. Verse 20 says, The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil. Who doth goeth about to kill thee? Remember, Jesus said, Proclaim that these people were not right. They weren't following Moses' law because they were trying to kill him. And so the people said, answered and said, Thou hast a devil. Who goeth about to kill thee? Jesus answered and said to them, I have done one work, and ye all marveled. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the Father. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment." See, right here they were saying that they were mad at him because he was healing people on the Sabbath day. Yet they went around circumcising people on the Sabbath day. He said that doesn't make any sense. That's hypocrisy. Then said some of them, some of the some of them, then said, then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? How be it we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. They said, listen, isn't this the guy that they're trying to kill? Well, if they're trying to kill him, I mean, if, if they're not doing anything, there he is. He's openly speaking. They're not doing anything about it. So maybe they know more than we know. Maybe he is the Messiah. Maybe he is the, the one to come. Then cried Jesus to the temple as he taught, saying, Ye know, ye know, ye both know me, and know ye know whence I am, and I am come of myself. But he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. Now, but I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Jesus said, "I'm not from here; uh, I am from above." He said, "I'm sent by the Father." Verse thirty. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. These men that he talked to, they were furious with Jesus because he continued to make himself the Son of God. And so they uh, they were going to, to capture him, but it says they could not. Uh, they could not take him, but no man had any on him because his hour was not yet come. Verse 31, And many of the prophets believed on him. Many of the people believed on him and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man doeth? I mean, listen, they saw the miracles. They said, If this is not the Christ... Who's going to do more than this man has done? Um, so we see there that was that was what they were saying. So we see that this story here was that uh, 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 we know that they were saying that Jesus was boldly speaking out in the open, and the crowd heard him speak. And the crowd saw that the the Sanhedrin and the, the, the Jews, the legalistic Jews, were allowing him to speak. They weren't going after him in public. And therefore they said, if he's not, and they're not attacking him publicly, we know these people. We know they're cruel and vicious people. And if they don't like what you're doing, they'll come get you. They were strong enforcers of the law. And therefore, if they were allowing Jesus to speak, maybe they know something we don't know. That's what they were saying. Uh, is this not the man they seek to kill? Verse 25, But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing to him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Because they weren't capturing him. And then, and we see there, he says, I, verse 29 said, But I know him, for I am from him, and he has sent me. Jesus again proclaims that he is sent directly from God. And then, then verse 30 says, Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, because his hour is not yet come. Wasn't time. And verse 31 said, And many of the people believed on him and said, When Christ cometh, will he do more miracles? They saw the miracles. They believed. So I have time for today. Let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this word. I pray, Lord, right now you apply it to our lives. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.